Hey everybody, it's May from Black Mountain Plans and Black Mountain Stickers, and I got my new 2023 planner. And if you'd like to see how I got it customized, then just stick around. Okie dokie. So, I went ahead and purchased my 2023 planner from Plum Paper. And I also picked up the grade book checklist notebook. I'm not a teacher or an educator in any way. It's got the many months inside of it, just like the planners do. But I liked the fact that it had the, the many months, uh, you know, specifically for each month. And then these you could put for like your goals or wherever you wanted for the months also in this planner so it was really cool and then it's just got the basic checklist and i use these a lot i was using the aaron condren a5 checklist notebooks i had ordered the eight and a half by 11 that they released over the summer with the teacher planners that one was a bit much um it's a little too much room so i like the fact that you know plum paper also had them so i went ahead it was a ready to ship item so i went ahead and grabbed it because basically what i do is on one side i write out like, uh, let's say the January release for Black Mountain Plans. And then I turn the exact same page and I do the January release for Black Mountain Stickers. So that's just the way I like to do it. And as I design, format, the printables, the links, all the stuff I got to do to get it ready for the customers in either shop, I like to check it off with my dot markers. So I thought this was really neat. And for $14, I mean, it's got a ton of pages in it you guys and i'm starting from like a third of the way through so i mean i probably wouldn't need to buy one of these guys for like a couple of years and it's got the nice folder in the back just like in the planner and it even has the heavy plastic on the back i thought it was really cool and i love the fact that you know with plum paper the aaron condren covers fit on here so i can easily take my scissors and cut this off and put an aaron condren cover on it and i i love it okay and if you saw the other video, the pens, the ballpoint pens, let's do it. Let's, let's just do one real quick. Because everybody doesn't like this paper. I love it. Um, yeah, it writes really, really good. Got to give it a minute. I'm being totally transparent here. We'll let it sit. Now that's a ballpoint pen from Erin Condren. And I'm a little juicy on the K, so I'm going to let it sit there for a sec. It's going to smear. But, well, no, it didn't. So, it just needs a sec. Okay. Even though everybody hates the paper, I'm going to tell you what. I'm a sticker maker. And I don't like my handwriting. I mean, you saw it, right? I don't like it. So, I write on stickers and stick them in plum paper. And I'm a happy, happy-go-lucky person with it. So, let's look at my planner. All right. So, I got the big joker. And he's a little chunky because in the back I got some sticker sheets already. And I have to be very honest. I have already had this planner for a little bit. It came in about a month ago. Um, and I just really didn't unbox it until about two weeks ago. And I wanted to play around with the sizing in it because I want to offer kits for it. I love plum paper. I love that you can customize it. And I love that you can cut these covers off. And you can put Aaron Condren covers on it. Now, when you do, if you look... When you have it really nice and laid flat, it's going to cover your tabs. But I don't know. I like it when you put an Erin Condren cover on it, you can see your tabs. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let me show you what I mean. Um, I just did my haul, so I know they're around here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, yeah. So let's stick it on. Because I will totally be cutting off. Now, with Plum Paper, you can totally get um, interchangeable covers. When you order from them in the note section on uh, where you're checking out, you can put a note on there that you want it to be uh, interchangeable. And they'll go ahead and like slice them to where you can take them in and out. I've never done it. And I love the fact that I can see the tabs. It's super quick for me to just get to where I want. A lot of people, that's a nay-nay. For me, it's a hello, I like it. Okay, so anyway, I got the weekly uh, vertical columns. It's the exact same layout as the hourly vertical columns, except there's no, you know, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., all the way down. So, 
you got your 2022. I decided to start in November so that I could play around with the sizing, get the kind of kits I want, um, and get my groove. Because honestly, I am not a sticker planner. I'm a sticker maker. <laughs> and I need to actually use my planner. Alright, so you got the 2020-23. Couldn't get it out. You got your mini months with the days on it. Uh, the months on it. And then you got many months again that are blank and you can choose what you want to put in these sections. A lot of people do a lot of different things um, at the moment. Not really sure what I'm doing with it. Okay, so here's November and I'm about to do a plane with me in November. So let's just skip on over to December and act like it's not there. Actually, let's just do January. My brain works better that way. All right, I got the colorful modern tabs. I didn't want the, the slow ombre effect with the regular colors. So, it will say the name on here. Um, some of them just have a J or whatever the, the month starts with. With this type of uh, color scheme, I believe it's where they spell out the names of the month. Okay, so then you got, this is your dashboard. And I like that it. it's just super simple. Erin Condren, it's just a, I have not been able to find my happy spot with that dashboard. And I'm hoping the more I play with planers and my actual stickers, I might find something. But at the moment, no. Dashboards are, they're cute, but they don't really, um, I don't really utilize them much. And I really should. So I'm going to try to pack as much into this planner as I need to instead of all these little post-it notes and papers all over my desk because it's becoming, it's becoming very bad. <laughs> it really is. So here's your monthly, your monthly, um, we call it, overview. Now the problem that a lot of people have with pulling paper is you see how the, the words for the, the day of the week, they go just past where we normally line up our washi strips. So there's kind of a, 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 a way that you can design stickers to go nicely across there and still cover up your days of the week. It's just a little bit of a different process. I've tried it six different ways and I'm going, I'm like, nope, let's just do it the regular way. So, okay, that's your monthly view. And then with plum paper, it will, for the whole week, it'll shade out and you'll start on the first. So this month, all of this is shaded out. However, I have come up with something for this, or at least an idea for it, and I'm going to test it out, and I'm going to use it in my plan with me. and if people like it, then I'll offer it in my shops. It's going to be an aesthetic thing. It's going to be like one of them things, do you choose you like it, or you just really don't. But if this really, really bothers you, which it does bother me, and it doesn't bother me, I guess it's just going to be on the day I go to playing with it, but I have come up with an option to be able to matchy-matchy with my kit, uh, get some good area out of this, but not have to see all these blanked out days. So anyway, this is my vertical columns, and it's just lined columns, and I love it. And then down here, you can put a nice washi strip, and then you got like either your top three, or you track your watch, which, why is it doing that? And then, uh, you know, the, or dinner and sleep hours, whatever you want to do down here, it's it's very much up to you. Nice sidebar. I'm good with it. Let's get you back in frame. All right, so here's what the normal week looks like when it's not the beginning of the month. And so you get your whole month. And I know a ton of people have seen a plum paper walkthrough. And then and again, at the end of December, there's all that blank space again. Which you can totally utilize it with stickers as like a note section, a monthly wrap up, a weekly wrap up, whatever you need to do. Or if you really just can't deal with it, you can glue these two papers together and there's your January. And then when you start in February, oh, come on, you would have these two dates blacked out, but you started your week here instead of back here. If that makes any sense. I know a lot of people have seen a plum paper walkthrough. This is nothing new. Um, I like that they have the, the the notes page at the end, and you also have it, you know, right there beside of your dashboard. So if you're tracking social media and you want to track something else, or you know, content ideas, and then what were your stats? This this is enough area, I think, to where you wouldn't have to have a separate planner for social media. I just don't, especially with something that I asked to be customized into the planner. Now I do use the A5 budget planner, however. I wanted a monthly bills in here to put the bill name, due date, and then it was paid, check it off, you know? 
or the amount I paid and check it off. I wanted it all in one planner. That does not mean I will not do my A5 uh, budget planner from Erin Condren. I love setting that one up. I like the sticker kits for it, but I also wanted this in here. And I may offer a one sheet wonder, as I call it, for this in case anyone has the bill section in their seven by nine plum paper. Okay, so you get, you know, front and back on that in case you had a lot of bills. So it's gonna be like that all the way through. And they're, they're the same colors as they always are. That's the one thing I like a lot about plum paper. It really does not change very much at all. And it's very consistent. The sizing is pretty much always consistent. It's a very, very friendly planner for a sticker designer. I like it. So it's all the way through next December. And then when we get to the end of the month, we have a social media tab. Now, anyone who knows me knows I don't like social media. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at it. Um, I've never done it. So, YouTube, um, it was like they were pulling my teeth to get me to do videos. Now, I, I don't mind it. I'm a little too chatty, but I don't mind doing YouTube. I do not really care for Instagram. I'm not a photo person. I don't like taking selfies. I don't like any of that. So, I've got some help, some backup coming. But I thought this was really neat because a person like me who knows nothing about social media. I love that it says, you know, posting guides. It's got a lot of information for somebody like me who really needs it because I don't know what I'm doing with it. You know, it says Facebook once or twice a day, one or two times per day. Instagram one or two times per day. It gives you optimal times a day to post. The image sizing, that's very helpful. Daily content, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I guess it's uh, ideas of things you can do. Um, then you have your social media overview, which is social media intentions, your mission statement, key message, audience, platform, strengths, weaknesses, competition analysis. I'm competing with people? Too much to learn. I'm going to have to deal with this. Three major social media goals. One, two, three. Monthly steps to achieve them. One, two, three. And list them out. Daily steps. Whew. Okay, goal one completed. Month, day, and year. Goal two completed. Goal three completed. Okay, so it looks like that was just that. And then this is an overview by the month. So this would be January promotions you did all through the year. Okay. Monthly planning. So I guess this would be January. And this would be your brainstorms for each type of social media. Important dates and holidays. Finalized campaigns, dates, promotions, and campaigns. And it looks like it's going to have one for each month. If I, I am the type of person that if I start to fill it out, I will, I will go through with it. So you have to get me to that point where I'm like, okay, I'm going to fill this out. And this has got enough nerdy stuff to where I'm like, okay, I'll do it. So, and especially with my daughter-in-law being willing to help me, we will hopefully get this together. So social media is one of the things that as a business owner, you're just going to have to, you know, we all do things that we don't like and we all know there are things that we should do. And this is... This is vital. I mean, I have a, a bachelor's in business and I know social media is something that I'm going to have to just, you know, not be afraid of and do. So bear with me. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. Okay, so campaign audit, description, campaign goal, one, two, three, posts, number of posts, number of likes, comments, shares. Is this per month? Let's see. We got January, February, March, April. It looks like per month. So that's cool. So you can like plan it all out back here. And then you can see how it all played out when you went through with it and did it. So I guess that's pretty cool. Kind of like it. it. looks like it's for every single month of the year. So, And then your login information. And when you get to be my age, you got to write it down. And I know a lot of people don't like to put their passwords and emails and their handles and everything like that in their planner. But I'm going to be honest with you, my planner ain't going nowhere. And if my dog Tater Tot learns how to use my password, then I've got a lot more problems than the fact that, you know, I wrote it in my planner. Okay, so then I just got a plain section with graph paper. I have a lot of uses for graph paper, and this would just be basically a um, brainstorming area. I like it. And then the checklist notebook, I actually can put it in here. <laughs> so I thought it was really, really cool that I could add it to the planner. So I got a checklist section in the planner. So you got a few sheets of dot grid. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Then you got your contacts page, which I'll actually probably put them in there. More passwords, I will definitely put them in there. 
And then you got your 2024 at a glance, a folder, and I asked for three page protectors so that I could put my monthly kit and my next two weekly kits. So that was a walkthrough of my plum paper. So um, if you wanna see how I do my monthly view and set up for my weekly view. Okay, so I did do the plan with me, but I cut all of it out because I don't like the monthly washies. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I did set up my many months and then we'll come back later with the finalized kit and do a plan with me, okay? Hmm, okay. So as you can see, I did cut off the cover and I put on the Erin Condren cover that I had customized. And I did leave the big thick plastic because I had ordered a Print Impressions, I believe this was called Pumpkin Spice. All you had to do was name it that and I ordered it. Believe it or not, once you take the rings out, your planner, Erin Condren, Plum Paper, they will fit in here. It's a very, very nice cover. So, and it's got the pen loop on the, the snap part, so it's not in your way. And I like how you can stick extra stickers in here, 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 and definitely all in here. So, my little freebie sheets, I love it because they will literally, I can put them in there, no problem. I like things to stand vertical. Um, they, when, they really won't go, I don't think, in here. Actually, they will. I just don't know if I want to do it there. But yeah, my freebie sheets look horizontal, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, once I'm done planning today, um, I will house my beautiful little planner in my nice faux leather cover. Okay, so I want to go ahead and set up. I've done some things in here. I'm testing out kits. Um, trying to see what I like, what I don't like. Um, the goal is to release plum paper planner kits in both shops by the end, by Black Friday. Okay. But I'm working out some bugs and I'm doing it on film with you today. And I went ahead and put down some washi on my mini months and the other months. Because when I put down washi, it's painful to watch. I am, I get a ruler. I am nuts. So... You didn't have to watch the squirrel do that. But I do want to put in the stickers that I got from the Celebrate Each Day. I forgot what monthly release this one was. Oh, I got a little piece of something. Um, but I do want to put January in them across. I'm just worried that they're not going to fit on there. Or cover it. So let's see. Let's, let's get down to it. Let's find out. I hope they're removable. Okay. Oh, I gotta commit, but I just don't want to. Okay, see, they're not gonna... Okay, hang tight. I am so weird about stuff. I really, really am. Let me get out my washi here. Um, yeah. I think we're gonna layer it. Ugh. If we can get the darn thing to work. Okay. I think I got this one from Print Impressions, too. I like Print Impressions, and I don't like Print Impressions. Does that make any sense? It doesn't. Um, I wish he had... Oh! I don't know if I like that. Let's just scrap that idea. We'll use whiteouts. <laughs> That's going to be easier. Uh, let me just introduce myself. My name is May. My real name is Red, but I don't go by it for business purposes. Because who wants to order stickers since my name Red? So... If you hear me or somebody refer to me while I'm on video calling me Red, that's the that's the deal. That's that's my name. And half the time that's the only thing I answer to, but I went by my middle name for my shop. Uh, both my shops. That way because I get a lot of messages in a day. I really do. And when generally most of the customers say, "Hey, May." And I'm like, "I know it's shop related." So, if that makes any sense. If somebody were to say, hey, May, I'd be like, I mean, hey, Red, I'd be like, whatever. You're not important today. Because <laughs> you didn't say the name I needed you to say. Uh, it's going to still not cover it. I am such a freak about stuff. I just believe that if your planner is pretty and you like it, then you're going to use it. And the funny thing is, is I don't use planners. I make the stickers for them, and I don't use planners. And my goal is I want to use my planner. I just got to find one that I like. I have bought every planner on the market. See, I think these colors are going to look good. That's why I chose like a, a monochrome type 
floral washi. I just want to make sure that's straight. But um, I, I really, really want to utilize a planner. I bought, I bought all the Erin Condren's. I've bought all the plum papers, every format, daily, hourly, um, all of them. I just, I've never used them. So I format the crap out of them. I make kits that and stickers fit. And I offer so many stickers uh, to people that I actually need to film mock plan with me's on this channel. This channel will be about both sticker shops. Um, so I think what I'll do is uh, I was told you can do a playlist. That's cool. So a playlist would be called printable shop. Another playlist be called physical shop, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, I'm butchering that. But yeah, um, I've got people who need me to film like a mock playing with me with the A5 Daily Duo, the EC Vertical. Um, just because basically I offer so many stickers, they're like, where in the world would you put all these stickers? But it's like I say in my listing descriptions, I really try to fit as many stickers on a page as I can for you. Where they're not touching and they're not messing up. And depending, like, are you a minimal planner? Are you a functional planner? Are you a no white space planner? Are you just a purely decorative planner? Um, it's it's all your preference. And that is crooked. So I try to really, really supply you with enough stickers in your kit that it's, it's going to meet your needs no matter what you got going on. Now, I know they're supposed to go all the way down, but they're not going to. I don't like that. I like it when they go straight across. Um, basically, because I don't want the one page used up, and I'm like, well, that page don't matter no more. I know that sounds weird, but I just don't like it. So we're going straight across with this joker. Um, some of these stickers that I'm going to put down today, they may not fit. Like I said, I'm in the testing process of it. I don't want to release anything in the shop that's not right. I did a plan with me video one time on the other channel, and one sticker did not fit. And I stopped filming videos for over a month. I was so disgusted with myself that one of my stickers was... It fit. You had to do sticker surgery. And I outlaw sticker surgery. I don't like it. Now, when it comes to washi strips, like the washi page and things like that, yeah, go for it. That's, that's basically what it's for, is to go wherever you're wanting it to go. The journaling kits, yes. But, like, I mean, like, if you're putting a sticker in here, it better fit. And if it's not going to fit, then I'm going to have a problem with that. So anyway, um, yeah. But I need to film. I, I, I didn't know what to put on YouTube as a, as a sticker maker. I really didn't. I didn't know what people would want to see. Um, and then all of a sudden, in the last month, um, I have been literally overrun with people like you need social media you need youtube we need to see playing with me's can you show mock playing with me's of how to use some of the stickers in your kit where did you design them to go and blah 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 and i'm like okay well if y'all are gonna give me all the content and i ain't gotta worry about how to think about it because i knew i could do like a monthly playing with me a weekly playing with me and uh set up my budget planner and, you know, come on here with the physical sticker sheets and show for each shop what was the new releases. But after that, I was like, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. So everybody told me that when I order stuff like the Moxie Life Planners are on their way, um, show an unboxing. Anytime you order from Erin Condren, show an unboxing. I'm like, okay, well, it can't be much harder than that, right? So anyway, I'm rambling. Uh... Like I said, my name is really red. And, uh, I guess it's out of the bag, right? Because I've answered some of y'all's messages as red, and I'm so sorry. You're like, who in the world is this person? Um, but yeah, my name is red. But I go by May for the shop. I'll answer to either. But, uh, yeah. That's my name. I am super excited because my boyfriend is coming home. In 11 days and he's gonna stay almost a week I'm so happy um, my boyfriend's name is Dave we worked together for the last nine years and in April I retired I am full-time at home making stickers and I opened my shop June 1st 
Oh, that's a very long sticker, isn't it? So let's just center it, I guess. I didn't realize they'd be longer than that box. That's kind of cool. All right, let me look on the camera. Mm, no, it's a little bit askew, isn't it? I don't like that. So anyway, I worked with them, and then in April, no, I was going to my shop in June. Okay, so in June, I opened my shop, and it really, really, really started taking off. I could not believe how fast that booger took off. Then, um, a real nice lady named Alexandra asked me to start making physical stickers. And then, it's like the day after she asked me to, tons and tons of people were like, can you just do physical stickers? Can you just do them? And I was like, wow. I thought that was going to take a lot longer. I, I, In my mind, I was like, I'll oh, we'll start with the printables, and then we'll move into um, physical stickers. Everybody's like, you should have just did physical stickers. But it's a relatively very, very new shop. It only has like 42 sales at the moment. And yeah, I can't wait to see where this one goes. So they're a tiny bit crooked, but I think I can deal with it. Um, but yeah, my boyfriend gets to come home. He's going to come home because his favorite holiday is not Christmas. It's actually Thanksgiving. And... He's going to spend it with me here in North Carolina instead of going home to Rhode Island to his family and have it. And I am told that every year that's what he's going to do. Because for the ever since me and my boyfriend's been together, we have never done Christmas together. I know that sounds crazy, but his all of his family is in Rhode Island. And that's where he goes. Oh, I like this. This really turned out nice. Let's see what look like. And my goal is to put in, like, the goal of reviews for social media, for the shop, just, like, at a glance. That's all it is. I'm okay with all the color. I really wish it was, like, all one color. But, you know, you deal with what you deal. And I do like the fact that every year, mostly, people put these uh, script stickers in the Aaron Condren booklet in here. I mean, that's pretty much what everybody does. They use that and the transparent dots. don't like how... Better. Okay, so I like this. But this is pretty much, um, I think, where I'm going to end the video. Because even though I'm going to put something in here that says new releases, I did film the video, the plan with me for the monthly and for the weekly. And everything did fit, and it fit well. But the problem is, I don't like that the way I set up the monthly headers. Like you can see on this page right here, the days of the month are separate from the top washi. And it's to take care of that issue where they hang a little bit below that line. Even though it fit and it looked pretty good, to me it just didn't look good enough. So I will come back and show you what the finalized kits are going to look like before they release on Black Friday. So that you can get a good idea. So y'all have a great day and thank you so much. Bye.